Are you struggling to understand your business numbers? Are you wanting to take your business to the next level? Well, each week here on the Local Small Business Coach Podcast, we dive into your business to help you not only understand the business numbers that matter, but we will discuss how to use them to increase your profits. Hi, I'm Tammy, and I'm on a mission to help our badass local business owners take their business to the next level. So if you're a badass or a badass in the making, let's get this party started. Hey, badass business owners, welcome back to the Local Small Business Coach Podcast. Hey, everyone. Today, I want to talk about my favorite quote. Well, actually, it's kind of a hybrid of my favorite quote. It's kind of become Tammy's quote over the years because I've probably have changed it and tweaked it just a tad to fit kind of what I love to say. And my saying is this, just because you know something doesn't mean you understand it. And it's pretty close to the original quote. And I remember when I saw this, I was on an airplane and it was a book of quotes. And when I read it, I was like, oh my God, that is so true. It spoke to the core of me as a trainer and as a coach. At the time, I was uh, coaching and training a bunch of different employees with Home Depot. And it just resonated with me because it was something that I was constantly running into with people. And it's funny because it's been so true through life. It works from a personal standpoint with people. It worked through all of Home Depot, through my Basket Robbins, through real estate, through coaching, through, it doesn't matter what it is. It's so true. And it's funny because I used to be one of those people. Like if you ask me, um, you know, when, especially when I was younger and they'd go, you know, they start to try to tell me something. Go, I know, I know, I know. I got, I got it. Have you ever run into this with like your kids or even an adult where you try to tell them something because you, they're either doing it wrong or they don't have the full story and they just cut you off. Go, I know, I know, I know. My nephew, he's hilarious with this. He's like a mini me. He's not even my kid, but oh my gosh, the way he acts and responds to things is just like I used to do it. And it's funny. And I tell my mom, I go, was I really this irritating when I was his age? And she says, his age? What do you mean? (laughs) Basically inferring that I can still be. But anytime I try to tell him something or show him something, because he is naturally curious and he does, he is somebody that's going as an entrepreneurial heart and he's going to achieve different things. But it's funny because at his age, you know what? He knew everything. He's not as bad today, but when he was like 16, 17, oh my gosh, everything was, I know, I know. And I think that's a common thing that a lot of us have is we think we know everything. And the reality is we really don't know everything anything. It's age that helps us understand that, you know, one of the things that you hear a lot of folks as they mature and get older is they go, dang, I was a stupid 20 year old or dang, I just, you know what, when I was in my teens, I didn't know nothing. I thought I knew everything and I don't. And the reason is age. And as we get older and as we experience things and as we go through things, guess what? We start to realize that we don't really understand anything. It's not until life hits us upside the head or something we do hits us hard that we realize, wow, I didn't really understand that. Now, this episode is a business podcast and you're probably going, Tammy, what the heck are you trying to do? Well, here's the thing. I find that this behavior continues in with a lot of business owners is they think they know everything. They think that they know their baby better than anybody else. They think that because they're the ones that have been blood, sweat, tears, growing it, that they know everything they need to know. You don't understand. You know, that's a good one all the time. You don't understand. My business is different. No, your business isn't different. The basic fundamentals of a business are always going to be the same. Numbers are numbers. Business is business. Trends are trends. The way things flow, you know what? What's our saying that I say every Thursday on our Know Your Numbers podcast? Sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals your profit. It's the same across the board for everybody. Now, there might be some differences, some tweaks that have to do with the environment, the type of people, the location, the small town versus big town. Yeah, there's going to be some differences, but I promise you, you are not the only handyman in a small town with less than 20,000 people. There are tons of them out there. And I'm just using that as an example. Okay. You're not the only air conditioner guy who's not in a hot place. You're in one of the coldest places and you have to do your business completely different. I get it. You're not the only one. So here's the thing. One, you're not the only one that has walked in those shoes. So you've got to be open to hearing and listening to other 
things. Now, that doesn't mean that somebody who's giving you advice or somebody who's, you know, another business owner who's trying to share their two cents, uh, that they're completely right. It's not, or doesn't mean that they completely understand your business. It goes both ways. When I'm talking, for example, as a coach with somebody is I may not fully understand their business. I know a little bit about it, but I'm not going to be foolish enough to say I fully understand it. I don't know every single thing that certain businesses have to go through or certain business owners don't have to go through. But I do know and understand the basic rules that are in place for a business. And this isn't necessarily about me, but it's just there's there's business owners out there that are open to listening from anybody, you know, and I mean from podcasts, from audiobooks, from training courses, for whatever. And one of the best ways to, to rephrase this is, are you coachable? You know, do you think you know everything or are you open to learning to understand it better? Are you coachable? You know, there's a lot of things that happen all the time where we take this for granted and not just for us personally. Um, Another example is with our employees. You know what? For example, we give orders and we ask them to do things based off of us thinking that they understand it. But the reality is, is they barely understand know what it is. They barely know something. So for example, back in the Home Depot days, an example I used all the time, we're building in caps. You know, when you walk into any store, whether it's a grocery store or a big box retailer, they have the ends of the aisles, right? Well, we would tell employees, go build this in cap. And the employee would go out and they're like, and you would ask them going, do you understand how to make an end cap. Oh yeah, I, I know, I know, I know how to do an end cap. Well, they'd put everything on the end cap and when you'd come back, you'd shake your head to cock it sideways like a dog does and you realize that they really don't understand. You have to really, the, the right way to do it is to help them understand why it needs to be done a certain way, why the shelves need to look the certain way that they need to do, what product needs to be where, why it needs to have a chip clip with related items on the side. Not just say, hey, you need chip clips, but why? Help them understand why that chip clip is re- is important because it's an add-on sale and it adds on profit. And ultimately, it should be something that helps the customer have a better experience because it goes along with the item that they're doing. So don't just assume your people understand the things that you're telling them. You need to make sure that just because they know it, they need to understand it as well. Same thing with yourself. So we're on a constant journey of everything that we learn. And the reason that I wanted to to talk about this today is because I had a few experiences in this past week where when you're trying to push somebody and try to get them to look at their business a little differently, what happens is they constantly go, well, I know, you don't understand. Or I, it's like, okay, I got it. I don't know your business like you do, but you also don't understand how to look at your business the way that I do. Um, I watched a, a dialogue between two business owners where they weren't listening to each other. You know, the customer was trying to explain to the business owner what their issue was. And the business owner, because he's done it a million times, kept going, yep, I got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. And it was like, okay, you may have gotten it, but maybe there was something in there that the owner was going to tell them differently. They need to felt like they were understood. And on top of that, you're right. The business owner probably did know because 99% of the time they're going to be 100% right. But I was watching the client, the customer, sit there and feel as if this was a Mr. Know-it-all, that this business owner knew it all and didn't really want to listen to and understand what it was the client was trying to say. So you can see that there's a lot of different ways that this plays into things. So I really love this quote, just because you know something doesn't mean you understand it. And it's it's a great lesson to have, whether it's in your personal life, with your kids, with your spouse, with significant others, all the way in through business, with your employees, and ultimately with ourselves. We need to make sure that 
as good as we are and as much as we know, do we really understand it to the level and degree that we need to? And to me, I think you guys as badass business owners, as you guys listening to podcasts like this one and to other podcasts, prefer people like you who are seeking out the knowledge, whether you're looking for it in videos, online training, audiobooks, whatever the case may be, I do believe that you are seeking to understand. What's the saying? Seek first to understand, then to be understood goes hand in hand with this quote. And it really is about trying to understand better before we just think we know something. And yeah, you might be right 90% of the time. And that's good. That just means experience has taught you that. But there's a difference if you know it because you understand it versus you know it because you've experienced it once or twice. So I'm just saying, have an open mind. Be coachable. Make sure that you are fully trying to understand stuff, seeking that knowledge. It's an important thing. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. It's a little shorter than normal, but I just felt compelled that I had to get this message out to everybody. And uh, it's meant for a couple of people out there because that's usually how it rolls. And with that, I will talk to you on Thursday's episode where I need to talk about something that I think that we still have some misunderstandings out there because I hear about it on a regular basis and I need to, uh, and it has to do with paying yourself and how that works. All right, I'll talk to you on the next episode. Bye for now. Hey, before you go, if you're looking to learn more about your business numbers, then check out the Know Your Business Numbers course, where we take a deeper dive into the key numbers, the calculations, the reports that will help you take your business to the next level. My mission is to help everyone love their business numbers. Yes, even including those of you that hate math. So much profit is hidden inside of your business numbers, and I want you to create some awesome profits. So check out the link in the show notes or head on over to the knowyourbusinessnumberscourse.com. Once again, knowyourbusinessnumberscourse.com. Come join me. Let's go ahead and work on building your profits.